Welcome to another episode of Dan Frequently Asked Questions, in which we address questions that divers have and ideally want rapid answers to. In this case, we have a free diver who typically dives around 40 meters, who is now going to undergo a so-called rhinoplasty. Now, rhino, as the name suggests, is the nose. It's not a horn like the rhino, but it is the nose being operated on, although we don't have the reasons exactly why. These may be uh, either cosmetic or they may be as a result of some abnormality, skewness of the nasal septum, or some other aberration and they are concerned that once this operation has been done they may then struggle to equalize. Now from the question it would suggest that the individual is not struggling with equalizing at the moment and so therefore one would want to know what the reason for the rhinoplasty is. If the rhinoplasty is largely cosmetic then most of the work is done outside the area that has anything to do with equalizing. In other words, it shapes the outside of the nose rather than actually working inside the nasal structures. But it is a fair question to ask your ENT, but we have never found situations in which that has been a problem. In fact, rhinoplasties are sometimes recommended for individuals who struggle with equalizing, but then the reason for doing so is usually to correct a deviated septum or to deal with other abnormalities in the nasopharynx and the related structures. So I hope that has answered your question to your satisfaction and uh, thank you for asking it and for joining Frequently Asked Questions. Get advice from a diving physician, preferably a diving ENT, and you can call us at Dan and either info at Dan or medic at dancer.org and get referred to a Dan ENT, diving ENT, that would be able to give you advice. Okay, until next time, safe diving.